You know, I really do love trying to help y'all stay up to date with everything going on with our Baltimore Ravens. I really do love trying to help y'all be as informed as you possibly can uh, when it comes to our team. But the part that I do not love is when we have to deliver bad news like this. And th if this does end up being the case for this Saturday's game against the Houston Texans, it would suck. Straight up, for lack of better terms, lack of better words, it would be terrible news for the Baltimore Ravens. But... uh. I think they would be able to get by. And what am I talking about? What am I referring to? Marlon Humphrey possibly looking like, as of right now, that he won't play in this game. Still to be determined. It ain't over until it's over. But right now, it's not really looking good. Before we get into that, before we get into the bad news, let's get into the good. Actually, excuse me. Let's get into the great news because Heart of the City, they running it back. And they coming with something special just for y'all. Team Keep It Clean. This is the new Heart of the City Road to Vegas hoodie that they made just for y'all. So you can go to the link in the description and go get your own hoodie. Now, when you do that, before you click that order, before you press confirm, before you pay for it, don't. Because you're going to need to put in a coupon code. And that code is going to be engraving. And that code will not get you 5%. It won't get you 10%. It won't get you 15%. It will get you 20% off of these hoodies. So take advantage of it because they're really looking out for y'all big time. They really love y'all big time. I really love y'all big time. So shout out to Harder City Clothing. Big ups to them, man. And shout out to everything that they're doing over there, man. Now, let's get back into this news. Jeff Zrebic, he told us earlier today, he said he did not see four Ravens on a practice field today. Three of them were from yesterday, that being Marlon Humphrey, Tylen Wallace, and Delshawn Phillips. And another one was Jadavian Clowney. Jadavian Clowney, what's going on with Jadavian Clowney? So the first thing that I thought of, oh, maybe they're giving him a rest day. But the first thing that my guy Jonathan, he thought of on Twitter was the same thing. He said, oh, veteran rest day for Clowney. He asked Jeff Zabie the question. And Jeff said, maybe, but would seem to be odd given the bye week and nobody else has had a rest day this week. So with Jadavian Clowney, I, I'm, I'm not overly concerned because this has happened before. With Jadavian Clowney, he missed a day of practice, but then he usually always pop up the next day. I saw somebody saying, oh, well, Jadavian Clowney, he got his bonus, and now he clocks out. Really? Like, because he... Anyway, Marlon Humphrey. Let's talk about Marlon Humphrey. Because uh, Jeff Zrebeck, he highlighted that. Um, he said Humphrey did do some running last week, but he hasn't practiced since the calf injury happened on December 31st. So that is what? What is that, like three weeks? Because right now it's the, uh, the 17th. So, well, I guess two and a half weeks. That's a long time to not have practice. Um, I figured, like, the Ravens, him not playing in a Week 18 game, obviously. He left the Dolphins game early. Um, but then them having a bye week, too. I'm like, oh, yeah, he should be straight by the time we roll around and play whoever we're going to play. Not yet. Not yet. But anyway, he said Ravens only have one full practice left before Saturday's game. It will be a lot to ask to play in a playoff game after one or no practices in essentially three weeks. And that's real. Now, while Marlon Humphrey is obviously a professional, he's been doing this for a long time. Like Jeff Zrebeck did state, that would be a lot to ask for Marlon Humphrey to do. And especially with them only having one full practice left. Because, again, remember, the game is on Saturday. On usually the games on Sunday and on Friday, they would have a walkthrough. But since the game's on Saturday, then I believe on Thursday they would have the walkthrough, or maybe on Friday with the game being the next day. But regardless, because yeah, he said one full practice left, that would be tomorrow, that would be on Thursday. So yeah, Friday walkthrough, boom, Saturday game. That's it. So unless Marlon Humphrey makes some miraculous recovery with his calf, then I don't know, man. And real quick, I got to say, I appreciate y'all. Y'all been checking out the videos where we had uh, other Baltimore Ravens content creators on. And we still got some more coming your way. So be on the lookout for that. But we recently, in the video that we dropped today, we had Coach on. Coach Evans, shout out to Sip Italian. He made a very interesting comment about Marlon Humphrey's calf. And he said that it can be a very tricky injury. Because he said he looked at KD. When KD had a calf injury, he was out for a while. And with a calf injury, it could be like a, a week or two thing. Or it could be a thing that ends up taking you out the whole year, depending on what it is, because it could be, end up being Achilles, could be something else, could be a number of things. But he said you got to be very careful with it. And now with Marlon Humphrey still not practicing. They, again, he did do some running, so that's a good sign. That's a start, but it's obviously not the finish. But with the Baltimore Ravens, if Marlon Humphrey is, does end up being out for this game, um, I am still confident that they can get it done. Uh, it would just mean more work or continue work for Brandon Stevens, who has been Iron Man. He only missed, I think, one game all year this year 
that being um, the game against the Dolphins, I believe. Uh, but he only missed one game all year this year. You still got Ronald Darby, who in limited action, like when we had my guy Kevin Ostriker from Locked On Ravens, he brought it up how Ronald Darby has one, been one of the best corners in the league in limited action. <laughs> so I, I know he ain't been no starter or nothing like that, no consistent starter, but when he's played, he's been really good. So that that's that. You still got Arthur Millett. You got Kyle Hamilton back. Um, you you So you, you're going to have some more depth. Uh, at the secondary now of course you would love to have Marlon Humphrey obviously and we hope that hey maybe maybe he makes his big return at practice maybe uh he get that 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 dead analyst spray from Ray, Ray Lewis said he's gonna be in the building he said he's gonna be in the building maybe in Baltimore already maybe he done pass around some of that dead analyst spray maybe that's how Mark Andrews is back I don't know but hopefully Marlon Humphrey can be back but if he isn't again I, I do feel like the Ravens they can still get the job done uh, and I, I would say I feel like more a little more pressure would be put on the offense. But yes and no. Because, again, the thing about these Baltimore Ravens, what they've done a phenomenal job of this year, and, and I got to continue to give them a lot of credit, they have had countless guys missing. Marlon Humphrey, he didn't play in – I get sometimes with Marlon Humphrey, it's weird. I guess in games that he don't play in initially, he ain't been to playing in them the second time either. Because in the Bengals game, he didn't play in that first Bengals game. And – I, did he play in the second one? I don't think he did. No, he didn't because he had the he had an injury then. Yeah, he ain't playing that second Bengals game either. The first Texans game, he ain't playing that first one. And this one, it ain't looking like he's going to play in this one either. But what the Baltimore Ravens have done, what Mike McDonald has done, he's found a way to still get it done without key players. And it's literally been that way all year, all year long. It's been the same way. They have got it done without guys. Now, of course, you want to be the healthiest that you can possibly be. But there's going to be times when... You ain't got some of your guys. This is looking like it could end up being one of those times, but we'll see. Now, another name was on that list of guys who was not practicing for the Baltimore Ravens, that being Tylen Wallace. And they said he has a knee injury. And I've been a little shocked at that one. Um, but uh, the Ravens special teams coordinator, Chris Horton, he had something that was very interesting to say. And I guess that the timing is just really weird and really coincidental um, that right when Devin DuVernay is coming back, Tylen Wallace, he's been out. It's just been crazy timing. But Chris Horton said that Devin DuVernay will take over as returner when he's healthy uh, enough to play. So when Devin DuVernay comes back, when he's clear to go, like full go, and he's back, then he's going to be the return man. Now, if Tylen Wallace was healthy, I would disagree with that for punt return. For kick return, no problem there. But for punt return, if Tylen Wallace was healthy, which he obviously isn't right now, but if Tylen Wallace was healthy, I would leave Tylen Wallace right there. Because Devin DuVernay, you want to put him at kick return? No problem. I, I get that. Because, again, straight line speed, that's Devin DuVernay all day. But Tylen Wallace is a much better kick I mean, excuse me, a much better punt returner because he's more shifty than Devin DuVernay. Devin DuVernay ain't making nobody miss. He, he got some good speed. And if the, the block is set up perfectly, oh, he'll, he'll get it all day. But if it's not, then it's not his game. But Tylen Wallace, he ain't the fastest. But he got a good amount of speed, decent amount of speed, but he's a lot more shifty. So he'll make somebody miss. Like, again, the, the whole – I know some people are like, oh, you guys just want him to, to be there because he was um, – he got the, the big one on the Rams. That's Devin DuVernay's job. Though. Well, no, Tylen Wallace showed like, hey, Paul return. Yeah, he got it. He got it. So – We'll see what happens with that. Now, uh, Mark Andrews, they, they called Mark Andrews uh, day-to-day. He said he'd been looking good, but they said he's day-to-day. And, I mean, yeah, he is day-to-day because I don't know if he's going to come back or not. But, again, it's nice to be in this position to where it's not any pressure. They don't have to have Mark Andrews back right away. He can wait another week. And Ravens, again, Isaiah likely been doing what he's been doing. Now, it would be nice if Mark Andrews, like if you have a player like Mark Andrews sitting on a bench, and he's healthy. Oh, that, oh, oh, man, that means something right there, right? Think about that. Like Isaiah likely being your starter, and you got a Mark Andrews on a bench. Oh, that'd be filthy. So we'll see what happens uh, this weekend. And uh, real quick, back to Marlon Humphrey. I don't want, and, and I've seen it already. I know team keep it clear. I know y'all not going to be on that, right? I hope that y'all are not on that, right? I don't want to see nobody saying, oh, Marlon Humphrey, he, uh, he ain't got time to practice, huh? But he sure got time to do a little podcast. He sure got time for punchline, huh? Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Cause 
And I know it's gonna be somebody. I, I know I know it's gonna be some. I guarantee it's gonna be somebody in the comments say, "Oh, he 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 sure had time. He sure showed up for a little podcast, didn't he?" So but it's a podcast, a, a show, a YouTube, whatever you want to call it. It's much easier to to sit down right here in a chair in front of the camera with the microphone and set that up. It's much easier than running sprints. Getting physical with people. Tackle it is much easier to do this than it is to do that. So there is no comparison. But where there could be a comparison uh, is when players go from one team to another. And that's what happens all the time in the NFL. It is a business, as we all know. Deshaun Elliott, he is a Miami Dolphin. I think he went from the Ravens. I think he went to the Lions or something, maybe for like a year or something. But he has been with the Miami Dolphins. And for some reason, I still think he's a Baltimore Raven at heart. Reason being, because on his, on his story, or on his Instagram story, uh, he talked about how he wanted the Bills to beat the Chiefs. Now, look, you just came from losing to the Bills a couple of weeks ago. You caught a pick in the game, so shout out to you. But you just came from losing to the Bills a couple weeks ago um, in that game, and then you lost to the Chiefs last week in the playoffs. So one would think, like, all right, Bills are in the same division as us. Oh, we don't want them to go all the way. We, we want them to get knocked out. But no, 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 Deshaun Elliott said, no, I want the Chiefs going, because this is what he said. He said in his story, <laughs> and he's getting ready to eat a salad, but he said, I pray by the grace of God on the Chiefs' downfall. I hope Buffalo beats them like they stole something. Hey, that's some straight-up hate right there. That's hate right there. But he, he's wearing that hate like a badge of honor, like a, like a badge of honor, like a title belt or something, and he ain't got no shame. In, hey, I ain't mad at it, Deshaun Elliott. So that's why I say I, I really do feel like he is a raven at heart. He, he tired of seeing these Chiefs. He want these Chiefs to be taken out by any means necessary. But Deshaun, don't worry. Don't worry because – this Saturday, Ravens got to take care of their business. And whether the Bills end up taking care of the Chiefs or the Ravens got to do it the following week, it will be handled. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you do not miss not a single video because we got a lot of videos and we got a lot of people coming on the channel this week, as you've seen already, and you will continue to see even more. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for doing everything that y'all do. Thank you all for making it so much fun every single day. Todos los dias, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all, and just like Marlon Humphrey will probably be, just like it's looking like Marlon Humphrey's gonna be when it comes to this game against the Texans this Saturday, but hopefully he won't be, but it's looking like he will be. We out.